This is gonna be a vlog on the best birthday party ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot going on. It's 2 a.m. past it now, almost by like 2.30. I have rotation in the morning. I should sleep now. I made this last minute decision to have this um, birthday party. Someone asked me, what do I want for my birthday? And I had to think, what do I really want for my birthday? And what I want is an amazing experience. I am individually calling each person that I want invited to this party. Oh, I want to give such a big shout out to Lila because I've given her the responsibility to take care of the interior designing. And my exam's coming up. <laughs> and I have my exam coming up. Great, my surgery shelf exam. So I want every single person to have an amazing time and I want them to have a lot of fun. It's truly gonna be an amazing day because it's gonna be a day where I can celebrate a little bit of me. And I want you to look back at this video on us and I want you to know you will have fun at your party, regardless of what happens. I for all of us. That's the kind of experience I wanna to give to these guys. And in return, they're giving me an awesome experience. It's just a win-win situation. Of course, tensions might be there between Ma uh, and Zla uh, and Hina uh, and Hing. I coincidentally met this girl at the gym. I hadn't seen her in a while, in like months actually. Like I had done my entire inpatient surgical rotations. I hadn't seen her. Anyways, meet her in the gym, have a good conversation. And I realized like, you know what? She's cool. She's invited to the party. Done. Karan. Of course I want him there, right? Recently his grandpa passed away. It's sort of a difficult situation. I'm creating this big amazing party and then I'm telling Garan to come reach my party, you know? Of course I want him there, so that's, that's the thing. Which is why I have actually moved my birthday party from the night of December 14th to the night of December 13th. There's another factor as well, Jyoti. So I love how this atmosphere is gonna be. It involves my closest friends, my closest relationships, my coworkers, my surgical team. Trust man, like we went through experiences and they are still going through experiences. Like I, <laughs> I'm excited to invite them. If I talk about each person, they bring such a good vibe. I want the people there to be truly there because they're there for, I don't wanna say to celebrate me, but to celebrate. And my birthday is just a media for that occasion. I can't wait to share the after experience. It might not be what I'm expecting and that's completely fine. I know that I'm resilient. I know that I'm gonna be able to take care of it. And I am just gonna have one, one of the best birthday experiences of my life. Thank you, Anas. And thank you to everybody who's making this happen. Because honestly, this is gonna be my first birthday party. Like organized by me, for me, for us and i'm starting off today by hitting the gym but i'm gonna take a step back and tell you about the craziest thing that happened i was supposed to write my surgery shelf exam today and for some weird reason i hadn't gotten a confirmation in my email nor did i bother checking it and while the party is tonight there's a lot of stress about the exam in my mind and i really started thinking like man this is gonna carry over and it might ruin my day if i let it and the luckiest thing happened to me alhamdulillah just the page before confirming the reschedule of my exam for some weird reason i didn't click it i have a photo i took a photo of it on my camera just in case it like it's for some weird reason something happens i always pull it up this morning i pull up that image and what do i see at the bottom it says continue and accept i forgot the last step and this is actually better for me this day is turning out great already and i can't wait to dive into how the best birthday party is about to go down i'm so glad that i got i'm getting to vlog everything and i'm about to go out I'm about to have a sick workout so just before i go hit the workout i want to quickly fill in on what are some of the crazy things that have been happening the people that i thought were coming to the party are messaging me this morning and telling me they're not coming and the people that i didn't expect to come are telling me that they're on the fence of coming at the end of the day, what I've realized is it doesn't even matter, right? The party will go on no matter what. Stay tuned. So guys, just smash. I don't know if you can see it. LA Fitness right there. So just smash the workout. So the person who was supposed to plan my party is apparently something came up. I don't know if something came up or not, to be honest, but 
the way things have worked out, even if that person isn't able to come design the party, like they were, they, were, they had the responsibility of doing the interior design portion of it, even if that person was to not show up, I can still handle it. It's so nice to know that you can do that, you know? But I hope she can come, and I hope that others can join as well. But if they can't, the party's gonna be lit one way or another. I have a limited amount of time. I have some setup to do and I have things to get, but I wanna record the journey and I wanna share what's going on and it is crazy. I'm, I don't even know if I fully digested it. My, it's weird. I, I don't have a name for a relationship, but my girls have talked to each other. They dragged in my friend, controlled the end of the situation. It's crazy, I'm shocked. And I'm learning all this just before my party. Prior to knowing all this stuff, I was speaking with my mom and I told her about the party. I told her about what's up, the crazy thing that happened with my exam. I told her that I'm gonna reschedule it for later. That was big for me, but then spoke with Garn and I found out all this shit like, yo, last night, all this stuff was going down. The friend Jyoti, they were all involved, they were all having this conversation together, and it's crazy, it's messed up. But at the same time, <laughs> this, they were gonna meet at the party anyways. I think they should still come. Wow, crazy, and I, and I still have a party to go set up. I had given that responsibility to someone, but it's okay, because I'm gonna go take care of it right now, and there's still enough time for me to make this work. And you know what? Questions will arise, things will happen, and I am ready. This is gonna be the ultimate the ultimate challenge tonight because that's coming out too with her sister okay and there's a lot of people that are maybes i don't expect everybody to fall through most of these people everybody that's here except garden and jyoti i've only met them in the last few months yeah so honestly like it's it's cool so as you can see i'm about to buy all this party stuff but i just want to say what am i doing all this for i'm buying my own cake i'm throwing my own party I don't even know. Listen guys, I don't want to make little emotional videos. Everybody who's coming out tonight has made the right choice. They chose to come out and have fun. They will have fun. Alright guys, just parked my car, walking to the hotel. I dropped off all my stuff inside. I'm going to show you how the setup goes. People are messaging me. Some of them even want to come now and I haven't even begun setting up. How do I exit from here? None of the girls that I see most frequently are planning on coming tonight as far as I know right now. That, I didn't expect. And I think it's just, at this point, you know what? No more expectations. Maybe that's what's just causing me to feel some type of way. I'm gonna go set up and I will continue to film. Dude at the front helped me bring everything in. This is all the stuff I got for the party. I'll show you in a sec, but also, how lovely is this? Thank you, IP Hotel. Shout out. Let's get this party started. Sick interior. Oh my god, it's my first time seeing it as well. Beauty. Okay, now give me a second so I can take it in. Okay, so I realized that I don't have a lot to set up. I've just been talking to some people, you know, people want to know when to come, this, that, blah, blah. I'm catching myself doubting my own party. If you're not at the fucking party, you're late to the fun. Fun vibes only. Okay, I gotta go set that up. Thank you to myself. Speaker, bro. Anchor. Hey, cool. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Here we go. Cheers, Mike. <laughs> Hey! hey.
not what I expected, but it's it's crazy. Resilience matters. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Agnes. Happy birthday. It's my birthday today. I am on the way to Grand Grandpa's funeral. Ironic, right? It's my birthday and I'm attending a funeral. It's so ironic that like sort of oxymoron there. So I packed some cake and stuff. That's so much. Like I've been just giving things away. Like here you go. Like oh, I have like all these drinks, guys. Just take it. Oh, it's cake. Please help yourselves. Just take it. Take it. Like I, I'm good. I'm good. So good. It's like the new thing to for me to do right now. Just to think like, oh, I'm 23. You know, like I'm not 22. I'm 23. Like anything changed. I just kind of feel like you know we've already celebrated. It's out of my system. I had an amazing brunch at Nando's, my favorite. It's just you know it's been good. I guess lots to think about moving forward. What do I want to do in life? What do I want to this that blah blah. I haven't asked myself the right questions, but I just wanted to make a video for this day for me to remember. The 23 baby. 